Okay, so after people started complaining about the current condition of Dying Light, I decided to boot up the game and give it another go because I don't have my old file, so my legendary status is no longer relevant. I'm basically starting over again. Just a baby in the woods. Uh, but I thought it would be a great time to revisit this title and to check out the current condition of it because people are saying that this game is the level of jank, frame rate drops, lagginess that you're seeing now is, um, well, it's, it's bad. Like, it's very bad. So, I booted it up. Uh, I played it both, um... I played it both as um, in in co-op and single player. You know, I met a I met a wonderful young fella who uh, seems very excited about having a copy. He's playing it for the first time, and uh, so by accident, I just kind of met him. He popped into my game. I didn't realize it was a public game. He popped into my game, and um, you know, we we did the we did the honorary dup 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 dup. B's like, yo, wanna play? And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So, uh, we started playing, uh, but even before he joined my game, I noticed, I noticed some frame rate drops. I noticed, uh, stuff popping in and out when they should not be. And this has made me incredibly nervous, and it doesn't look good. Like, I'm running, this, this looks bad. This is looking really bad. I have, I guarantee you, I've, I've clocked in uh, before I lost my file. I guarantee you, I've clocked in well over a thousand hours with this game. I spent a lot of time looking at this game, guys. This, this is, this is, this is looking rough. Uh, I had the cutscene with Rise. I had the cutscene with Rise and, uh... <clears throat> it was it was choppy. Like, oh, the frame rate during that cutscene. I've never seen that cutscene look that bad before. It was awful. And that breaks my heart. Okay, because I have loved this game. I bought this game uh, from the PS Force, uh, for the PS Store, from the PS Store. I uh, bought it for 15 bucks, and um, and at first I was terrified, and then I fell crazy in love with this game. So yeah, I was loving this game. So the first chance I got, I went out and I bought the anniversary edition to this game. That's how much I love this game. Full price, mind you. I bought this game full price from the store. So, I guess I spent like 80 bucks in total on the anniversary edition after I spent 15 just to just to get it a, a, a deal on it, right? So, I mean, yeah. I have. I have loved this game. I have played the crap out of this game. Uh, so, you can imagine I was just as excited as everyone else when the second game was fixing to come out, right? Sure. And, um, I've had my own disappointments with the sequel. So, but there was always this idea that you could always come back to Dying Light 1, right? You could always just come back to this game. And now that Techland's pulled its support, it seems like, it seems like the quality, the integrity of this game depended heavily on how much Techland was babysitting it. And that is so not good. Okay, I can I can pop in Borderlands 2, uh, Borderlands the prequel, games that you could arguably say that are no longer getting support, and they're fine. So, what's going on with this game? Is this is this our way of realizing? Is is this is this a, a realization? Oh, see, look at that. That looks terrible. Look at that. That looks terrible. Um, is this... Is this a discovery? 
Are we just now discovering that Techland cannot make a standalone game? Uh, that ages well? Unless, I mean, it's not going to age well unless they're babysitting it? Is, is that what we're seeing here? Because it certainly feels that way. And, and judging by the way some people are saying that, like, there was one fella that told me, he says, um, he said that his copy of Dying Light 1 is currently unplayable. It is so bad, it's unplayable. The frame rate drops are just killing him. Like, breaking his heart. Yeah, I'll bet. The condition of this game is break it's breaking my heart too. I am just, I'm shocked. I, I never thought I would see, like, this game regress so badly. I mean, and some of the bugs in this game, I've never seen them before. I mean, I'm seeing Bethesda bugs in this game now. Okay, you, you, you down a zombie and they go flopping around on the ground, like, just going all kinds of crazy flopping. Like, that's some Bethesda stuff right there, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, the, the frame rate drops, the lagging... Uh, the way things are popping in and out excessively. These issues have never been associated with this game as far as I can tell. I've never seen that. Never seen that. And um, I'm assuming that it's even worse for some people than it is for me because I have seen the frame rate drops but sometimes, I mean, this game, the frame rate is dropping so bad on this game for some people that they literally cannot play it. Holy crap. They can't play this game. I mean, arguably you could say at least I could play this game. It looks awful. It looks freaking awful. This is pitiful. I'm just beside myself. Have you seen a volatile yet? That's what Zara called. <sighs> so anyway, yes, yes. I decided to fire up Dying Light to see what the condition looked like for me, and I'm I'm in agreement with uh, some of you people that are experiencing <laughs> performance issues. Yeah, and it comes. It comes in time, just just about the time that Techland pulled support for this game. Now this game is regressing to a, an unplayable state for some people. Uh, that breaks my heart. I love this game. I love this game. And um, some people want to say, oh, well, you know, this is just the game showing its age, you know, showing its true colors. Showing No, this is, I think the game is showing us that unless Techland babysits one of their projects, like, forever, um, it's not, it's, it, it, it can't stand, it, it, it can't stand, um, at its peak performance unless they're babysitting it. What does that say for Dying Light 2's future? Or any other game that Techland releases? You know? Hmm. A very scary question, right? Very scary. <laughs> uh, I will keep playing the game, though, because um, I did meet a fine fella. Seemed like a real nice dude. And uh, he just got the game for free. And he wants to get into it, so I'm probably gonna... Um, I'll, I'll play with him. Uh, show him some tricks that I've learned over, over the years. Uh, to get him settled to where maybe he can like you know enjoy this game because this this game deserves to be loved it really does so uh, yeah yeah I'll uh, I'll be playing with him off and on uh, getting him situated because like this is the first time he's ever played this game and and I am showing him like some strategies of of dealing with common issues. Uh, before you know it, he will be his own crane, and he'll be out doing super crane stuff all by his lonesome eventually. Uh, which would be great. But yeah, I couldn't help but notice, co-op or no co-op, like, this game's got problems. Problems I've never seen in the, in the, uh, over a thousand hours of game time, I've not seen some of the problems I'm seeing with this game now. 
What? That's what I'm talking about right there. Do you see that? This, the, this right here is part of the problem. The, the lagging, the front, like this is, wow. Just absolutely wow. Like I have sunk over $80 into this game because that's how much I loved it and it was such a solid experience. Like talk about immersion breaking right there. Like really, that is so immersion breaking. Unbelievable. Yep. I, uh. Hey, keep a distance from Rises. I I'm sorry, guys. I don't um I don't in I don't see myself buying any more Techland games. I just don't. Ah, uh. this breaks my heart. I want to cry. <laughs> I want to cry. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, the pain, the pain of it all. This is too much. Oh, so yeah, for those of you who are reeling over the current condition of this game to where it's, you just feel like you can't even play it anymore because it's gotten that bad for you, I cry with you. Okay, I'm reeling with you right now. This is, this is... Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. And on that note... Good night, and good luck, my honeys. <laughs>